Right, today we're looking at day two of 11.6, area of regular polygons. We're just going to continue practicing what we did yesterday. So we're going to start out, recall the formula for it, the area of a regular polygon is area equals one half the apothem times the perimeter. Remember the perimeter is the number of sides times the side length. Remember that yesterday we also learned to find the area of a regular polygon by finding the area of each isosceles triangle and then multiplying it by how many isosceles triangles made up the polygon. But these formulas take less work and are quicker. So we have this picture. We have A, B, C, D, E um, inscribed inside the circle. And we're just going to identify some things. So first, identify the center of the regular polygon. So my center is point F. Identify a central angle of the polygon. So that would be angle BFC, which is drawn. What is the measure of the central angle? So remember, that's 360 divided by how many sides? This is a pentagon. So divided by 5 gives us 72 degrees. It says identify a radius of the polygon. We have two drawn. We have FB and FC drawn. So segment FB or segment FC. What is the length of the radius? Well, they have it marked as 6.8. So 6.8 units. Identify an apothem. And what is the length of an apothem? The apothem they have drawn, there should be a 90 there, is FG. And they have it as 5.5 units. And again, that was segment FG. So now it says, um, find the perimeter and the area of this. We're going to look at three different types today. So first, we're going to look at finding the perimeter and the area of a regular polygon when we are given the radius. So if I'm given the radius only. So again, very first thing I need okay, is this central angle. So if I find my central angle, that's three central angle is 360 divided by how many sides we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sides. So that is 45 degrees. So now I'm just going to pull this triangle out. So I know that this is 20. This is my 90. This is now half of 45. So remember, if I cut 45 in half, I get 22.5. So this angle here is now 22.5. I need my apothem, and I need the base. So again, if I stand here, I have to do Sokotoa. So I would say that the cosine of 22.5 is equal to A over 20. So 20 times the cosine of 22.5 equals A. So my apothem is approximately 18.4776. Again, remember from yesterday, we're going to keep about four decimal places and round at the very, very end. So now I know what my apothem is. This is 18.4776. Now I need my base. So I can either do Sokotoa or Pythagorean Theorem. I prefer Sokotoa, so I'm going to set that up. The sine of 22.5 equals my base over 20. So 20 times the sine of 22.5 equals my base. So my base is equal to 15... 0.3073. Let me take that back because I went ahead and doubled that for you guys. Let me go step by step. So my B, my B here is 7.6536. Remember, that's just half my base, so I need to double that. And that's where we get the 15.3073. Okay. So now I can find my perimeter. So my perimeter is equal to 15.3073 times, so we had eight sides. So our perimeter is approximately 122.4584 units. That was one of the things they asked me to find was the perimeter. At the area, 
times one half the apothem, 18.4776, times their perimeter, 122.4584. And now I can round here. So my area is approximately 1,131.4 square units. So when all I'm given is the radius, I need to do SOHCAHTOA twice. So SOHCAHTOA times 2 or SOHCAHTOA times once and put that in there. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I prefer SOHCAHTOA twice. Okay, so now let's go to the back. This time, we are given an apothem. And we're going to look to see what do we have to do. So if I'm given the apothem, all I need is my base, right? So we're only going to have to do Sokotoa one time if what they give me is the apothem. So again, I'm going to go ahead and draw this triangle out. So this is the triangle I'm looking at. This is 4.1. I'm looking for my base. I can find that central angle, what that central angle was. It's five sides, so 360 divided by five. The central angle started out at 72. I cut that in half to find this angle up here now. So 72 cut in half is 36. So this is 36 degrees. And if I stand up here and I want the opposite and adjacent, I'm looking at the tangent of 36 equals B over my apothem 4.1. So my B is 4.1 times the tangent of 36. So my B is approximately 2.9788. But remember, this is just half of it. So I need to multiply that by 2. And I get my B is approximately... 5.9576. So now I can find my perimeter. My perimeter is equal to 5.9576 times 5 because there are 5 sides. So let me just work that out times 5. So my perimeter is approximately 29.7882 units. There's our perimeter. I want the area. My area is one half my apothem, which they told me was 4.1, times the perimeter, 29.7882. So when I multiply all of that together, I get approximately 61.1 square units. All right, so if they give me the apothem, I only have to do SOHCAHTOA one time. So now let's look at where they give me a side. Okay, so if I'm given a side, I need to find an apothem. So again, I should only have to do Sokotoa one time. So if I draw this triangle, draw my apothem, I'm looking for the apothem, right? I can go and find the perimeter right away. So it's nine times. How many sides do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my perimeter is 63. Here they gave me centimeters as my units. Again, I need to find out what is my central angle. So 360 divided by 7, my central angle this time, it's not a nice whole number, 51.4286. I want to cut that in half, and I find that is 25.7143. So if I draw this triangle out, This is now four and a half because it's half of nine. This is what I'm looking for at my apothem. This angle right here is that 25.7143. So I need to find my apothem. So if I'm standing up here, I'm going to use the tangent. So I would say the tangent. 25.7143 is equal to 4.5 over A. 
So A times the tangent of 25.7143 equals 4.5. So divide by the tangent of that. And so I find out that my apothem is, let me see, 4.5 divided by the tangent of 25.7143. My apothem is approximately 9.3443. So now I can say that my area is equal to one half the apothem we just found, 9.3443 times our perimeter, which was 63. Let's see. Times 63 cut in half. So our area is approximately 294.3 square centimeters. Okay, so today we looked at three different options. If we are given the radius, we need to use Sokotoa twice to find our perimeter and area. If we are only given the apothem, we need to use Sokotoa once. If we are given a side length, we only need to use Sokotoa one time. So that wraps, wraps up section 11.6, finding the area of a regular polygon.